Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I welcome you to the draft portion of this Vintage Cube draft. What are we taking? Mind Twist? <clears throat> Hope to table Leovold? Go some good old Sultai? I mean, it's definitely Mind Twist, right? Oops, we done it again. Smokey Loki, I feel like you have so many non sequiturs. I'm like, what did we do again? I want to take Mind Twist, and if Kolagons, Vindicate, or Leovold come back, I'll be very happy. And I will I will appreciate uh the options that we have at those at those points. Mm-hmm. Look to your left. I don't know what's going on. I'm so confused. <clears throat> Yogmoss will. Nissa. Metamorph. I like a metamorph here. Uh, hey guys, what's going on? We're doing a little ASMR today. We're going to do some Magic the Gathering ASMR. MTG ASMR. MTG SA ASMR. MTG. You know, like, uh, we can do it. <clears throat> oh, look, so you're left in the queue. Oh, hold on, my dude. Where am I? I'm here. And there you are. Wow. Smoky Loki for days. Hey guys, we're just going to... Uh, hold on, let's see if I got some... I got a chip bag here. And crinkle some chips. We can do some chip crinkling ASMR, guys. I think it's Ancestor Vision. This isn't necessarily a black. Oh, Thief of Sanity, though. I love Thief of Sanity, especially in Cube. <laughs> oh, God. Thief of Sanity Ancestral. Hunter heard the chips and he was like, I know what those bags mean, buddy. <coughs> Thank you. Someone tell me if it's... Kurt, Kurt, wait, is it Ancestral or is it Thief of Sanity? Jabberwocky, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Yeah, I've been on a weird schedule recently, so... Kurt, you're taking too long. I think you fell asleep anyway. I took Thief of Sanity. Oh, I like an Ulamog. Thief! All right, Kurt, we did it. Nice. Uh, I also like Go for the Throat, just as a, as a thing. Treasure Cruise is fine. I wish you could delve their cards. Wouldn't that be great? <sighs> sort of Body and Mind is also just like... Especially if we're already milling with Thief of Sanity. I, like, I love swords, man. I love specific swords. I like Fire and Ice and Body and Mind. Those are my two favorite swords. Oh man, Tooth and Nail. That's a relatively late Tooth and Nail. Ulamog, the Infinite Gyred. Gyred. That's a flame tongue combo. What a crazy pack. I mean, Clamp is decent if we get a, an Ulamog. Not a, a Bitter Blossom. I don't know if I said Ulamog there. If we get a Bitter Blossom, actually, I do like Clamp. Or an Ophiomancer. There's quite a few things that actually pair well with uh, with Skull Clamp. Also, we don't necessarily have to be blue right now, so we could actually get Stoneforge Mystic. Migus, good seeing you, buddy. Did you change your stream schedule? Uh, in the sense that I currently don't have a set schedule. I've been sick this week, so I've just been trying to, like, stream whenever I can get some some time in. Like, I literally slept all day today. I fell asleep at, like, 4 a.m. I wanted to get up around noon, so, like, 8 hours. But then I ended up getting up, like, 8.30 for no real reason. And um, I stayed up until, like, noon, and then I fell asleep until, like, 3. And then I fell asleep again at 5, and then I slept until, like, 9. So I kind of, like, slept on and off all day today. Which I was fine with, because I'm like, I probably just needed the rest. Whatever. But... 
Yeah, I've had no set schedule this past week just because I've been sick. <clears throat> Thankfully, it's definitely just a cold. I don't have any coronavirus symptoms. My my throat is not dry. My coughs are, 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 are well moistened. My nose is running, which is not a symptom. Um, could just take Black Cleave Cliffs. I like. I think Repeal is fine, actually. Chat, if you would like to see when Frank got sick, look under clips. Do I drink bleach? Yeah, it's literally. It was literally the day I drank out of Mike's drink accidentally, and Mike was sick. <sighs> Still really upset about it. It was such a. Excuse me. It was such a silly, stupid thing to do. Like, what a dumb accident. And then I got sick, and like I've been miserable for the five days. <clears throat> Just been like miserably. Ugh. Interesting. Eh. I'll take this and hope to be Esper. Like, I do love a Vindicate. If Godless Shrine comes back, that'd be real nice. Um, none of these cards are good. We got Yogmoth's Will and Yogmoth's Bargain. Are we secretly Storm? Are we tinkering? I don't know what we're doing, guys. Oh, Flame Tongue Coven. Oh, I like a Duretti. It's better than Archangel. Double White, though. I'm not that innocent. All right, this is all fine. <coughs> Mark, I'm pretty sure most cities have at least one confirmed case by now, dude. It's just, just be safe, man. Get all your groceries. Stay at home. I haven't even been like, I've been hang, I've been like not even hanging out with like Mike and stuff. I've just been like in my room. In my room, I feel safe. Ancient tomb, or is it thought sees? I think it's actually thought sees. I probably played Triumph here. Thief. Repeal. Thought sees. I live in the middle of nowhere, a small town with less than 60k people. Well, <sighs> I mean, my advice is the same. Stay safe. Like, don't interact too heavily with people, you know? Like, I don't know, it's, it's, <sighs> God. It's not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. In the garage, I feel safe. I like, oh, I like a remand. I also like a batter skull in case we get a stony. I think it's just remand though, right? And we're definitely not green. I ain't even getting my backyard. I've been going to the backyard because, well, Hunter has to go out for one, but also like, it's nice to just get fresh air. Oh, there's an Ophiomancer. That makes the Skull Clamp pretty decent. Also, Shell Dock Isle is not bad. Necromancy, not terrible either. I mean, it's not entirely sold on blue here. We only have three blue cards, really. I'm going to take Ophiomancer. Man, Badlands. Uh, torrential gear hulk what do we have for that i'm gonna repeal and here's downfall kawaii have a good night buddy thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it <clears throat> i still think torrential girl is probably fine here and we can definitely lean towards like taking more 
gear hulky type cards. Tezzeret doesn't seem bad. We can search for a metamorph. Search for sword, skull clamp. Hypnotic Spectre also fine. Carries these things well. I've taken two, but we have no reanimation right now. I think it's either this or Tezzeret. I think we can build around Tezzeret a little better. Worm Coil Engine. I like Worm Coil Engine. Sword of Fire, nice. That's another good one. I like a search for Azkanta, I guess. Small Teferi. Yeah, that's good enough to play. So is Vindicate. No one hears me. No one hears me sing this song. I guess it's just Tassiger here. <clears throat> I don't love it, but it's all right. Wow, that is a late Splinter Twin. Jeez. Oh, yes, I was playing this deck during this stream. <clears throat> be weird if I drafted the deck, then stopped streaming, and then I played the matches some other time. I guess it's Oblivion Ring. I mean, I would love to have any sort of land whatsoever. Like, this is very strange. No courtyard. No dark slick shores. Not even the bad ones. Path to Exile. Also, Sphinx of the Steel Wind is nice. Mm, white tax is actually kind of... Wow, alright. Huh. Interesting. The white seems to be way open. Anything good? No. Nothing good at all. Upheaval? I don't think we're an upheaval deck. Tinker seems great, though. We have Torrential and Worm Coil and Inquil Leviathan over here. Although the only artifact we have right now is Sword of Body and Mind. I think the upside is still high enough. <sighs> Grave Titan. Small Jace. Factor Fiction seems great. Hmm. I 
Are you just going to play like... Ugh, God. Just playing 19 basics. Or uh, 17 basics, rather. Jesus. I don't even think Vista's that great here. Unfortunate. Mall Drifter seems great, though. Dig through time. Also days. Crater Huff. I think days is probably just fine here. It's not exciting, but... <clears throat> Concealed Courtyard. I'll take it. I'll take it. I won't love it, but I'll take it. You can also see cutting Teferi at this point. Time Twister. Oh, Snapcaster Mage. Stone Coil Serpent. I'm just going to name all the cards. Elspeth. Snapcaster good? We got Remand, Thoughtseize, Path, Vindicate. Yeah, actually, Snapcaster seems real good here. A shambling Vent. Deal. <clears throat> all right, this is the last new pack. We're at uh, 37 cards. This will be the 38th card. Makeshift mannequin. Not super exciting in our deck. Double white Gideon also not great, but maybe it's something. I don't know. I like Angel of Sanctions. We can also just play Land Tax. Never gonna see another one like I have with you. <coughs> yeah. A lot of people don't even consider a time twister uh, a power just because it's like it's very it's not great unless you're in certain archetypes or have specific cards. Like if we had Narset, I'd probably consider it. Sower of Temptation. I like that over Necrotal. <clears throat> That's a late sneak attack that I'm probably just going to take. Um, I can take Wall of Omens out. Now we only have Path, Oblivion Ring, and Vindicate and Teferi, which I think is fine for splashing. Mana Tide just for the lulls. I actually don't even hate Dark Petition here. Blade Splicer. It's a 
white better than our black? What if we just splash for like these three black cards instead? To get Downfall, Ophiomancer, Skull Clamp, Thoughtseize. We can play like Blade Splicer, Gideon Jura, Avacyn, Angel of Sanctions. Tithe Taker. <coughs> I don't really care about repeal, maybe just wall of omens instead. And now we're blue white splashing for Vindicate Thief and Mind Twist. Is this better? I don't know. Torrential Gear Hulk, we lose Liliana's Triumph and Hero's Downfall. We gain Path. So what do we have for Gear Hulk right now? We have this, this, Days, Remand. It's not a lot. Yeah, Recruiter, Recruiter surges out a lot, but the problem is then I have to play Recruiter. And like Vintage Cube is a format where I just don't like playing a, a one mana three, three, a three mana one, one. And then just being like, go. Hmm. I mean, alternatively, we play Path. We play Thoughtseize over Path. So we only have 12 creatures. Does anything make creatures? No, we don't have any, like, Planeswalkers that are making dudes. <coughs> I mean, I do like these. I like Ophiomancer Heroes Downfall. I don't know if Torrential Gear Hulk's good enough here. Can we just take out Torrential Gear Hulk for Ophium Answer? And I kind of do like Skull Clamp here. Oh man, this is 24. Yeah, we're taking out the Gear Hulk. <clears throat> it just doesn't have enough good targets, I don't think. Factor Fiction's like a, a dream scenario, but it's not great. Let me take out Days. Days isn't super impressive. All right, let's see what this looks like. So seven, seven, this is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. This is seven, six, six. I think that's probably pretty good. We do have more white. We'll go six blue instead and seven white. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, six. Yeah, that's fine. That's as good as we're going to get, I think. <clears throat> the mana was not ideal. That's pretty good. Do we search? Do we search or do we do we tithe take her? These are the questions. I think we can tithe take her here. 
if we really wanted to smooth our draws and we really needed specific things like lands, I could see playing Search for Escanta first, but interesting. Super aggressive. <coughs> I'm just going to get Teferi down while we can. Because they're playing blue, so, you know. Geralt has a good body. All right, take it easy, Mark. Don't be inappropriate. <coughs> That's kind of nice. <coughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These eyes have seen a lot of love, but they're never gonna be another one like I had with you. There's a lot of filtering they're doing. Not much card advantage, but filtering is, is top tier. Oh, boy. Oof, that's a nice hit. Interesting. That bottom is... Ru um, I like Oblivion Ring here. That's pretty decent. Oh, I'm crying. No, oh, these eyes have seen a lot of. I think it's just pile two, though. We're doing it. We're living the dream. These eyes have seen a lot of love. They're never gonna see another one like I had with you. These eyes. Can I have this Glenelendra Archmage? Steal it. I mean, eventually we'll get this deck out of here, right? <clears throat> uh, yeah, you sack it goes back to them, but we still get a sacrifice out of it, and we still get a blocker out of it, so... If they try to, like, wildfire, we get to counter that. They get a 1-1 back. That's fine. I'll take a negate that turns their 2-2 into a 1-1. Oh, we win the match. All right. <laughs> That's... Uh, oh, wow. Good games. Everybody, we're good at Magic the Gathering. Seems good. <laughs> All right, this hand is terrible. Yes, they conceded the match in game one. This hand is rough. <sighs> Any white or blue, and I think we're okay. I really don't want to go to five here, so. We have two turns to hit a white or a blue. Eh, I guess we have more than that, but. We did not do it on our first try. And we did not do it on our second try.
third try still didn't still didn't hit it <clears throat> let's discard the angel because it can be reanimated so let's just see let's 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 hover over the concede game button in case they have one of their fat daddies Um, yeah, right. It's, I'm not, I'm not dead yet. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Now we know we have time walk. And what else you got? That's pretty hard to beat. Okay, that's good. Yep, no land, one land and ten fucking cards. Super cool, super, just the coolest, just the absolute Mick coolest. Great, just, just, just Chef's kiss. Time to play land. I mean, it doesn't matter if we don't get a single white source. I mean, we kept them all. We kept the one land, but we mulled to six, so it's not like. I guess we could. I guess we could have gone to five. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm game. This is the hand we want. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. All right, fingers crossed they're gonna crack in response because that's what people do. Oh, they didn't do it. They didn't crack it at all. That's wild. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, thief, let's do the deed. Cool. Having fun yet? 
No. Nah. I, mean, I have three cards in hand. <clears throat> Maybe that's something. And they're not really doing anything. Archangel Avison coming through. Ready? Oh, did not come through. <clears throat> oh, Fiomancer. I mean, they haven't done much else. I'm sure they will eventually. What? Like, they're playing, like, Sneak Attack with, like, no red lands here? Titan? Some kind of Titan? Primeval Titan? Sun Titan. With no with no trigger. Oh yes. <clears throat> Alright. Dead on board. Got a Savannah. Sounds good. Wrath of God. Get my Sun Titan back. Oh, well, that's fascinating. <clears throat> did we? How many cards do we have in? What did we lose? Search for us, Kanto? I think it was just search for us, Kanto. Sure. Bounce Angel. Bing, bing. It's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's, you're still dead. All right, I'll take him again. <clears throat> I can't have Murderous Cut. I can have Dismember, but then they die from their own Dismember. Okay. Oh, weird game. So I have Time Walk and Time Twister. That's good to know. I almost kind of like Daze here. They're playing expensive things. Take out Wall of Omens for a Daze. Liliana's Triumph doesn't seem terrible either. <laughs> Skull Clamp seems a little too cute. I like Thought I think Thought Seize is probably just just great. Oh yeah, body and mind's not great here. That's a good point. I'm bringing Loyana's triumph over, over it. <clears throat> you can feel it all over. God. 
These hands are rough. They went to six. We're on the draw. I'll keep it. I got a thought seize, and any blue source lets us play this. Any white source lets us play this. So it's not terrible. <clears throat> it's not the worst. Hmm. I'll thought seize here. Oh, a sneak attack, a Gideon Jura, and an Azorius Signet. Hmm. Ooh. I think we should be getting a Jura. Sneak attack does nothing in their hand. Next turn they do get a Zorius Signet. But they already have white and blue, so we're not cutting off their colors. And we just have to hope they don't draw, like, big fatties. Yeah, I'll take Gideon. <clears throat> White mana, blue mana. Come on. Come on. Yep, so that and that is gone. Oh, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Mm, yep, playing both of these now. We also have Oblivion Ring that we can draw. Oh, damn it. So close. I mean, if they top tick like Causal, I can make us, you know... I took the card that was a bigger... Fuck, come on. <laughs> what an asshole I am. Fucking incredible, dude. That's absolutely amazing. We had two draws. I drew another cause alike. Guess not. Sure. Why would you bounce that instead of just not bouncing anything? That's weird. Okay. Oh, a Snapcaster. But I cannot cast at instant speed. However, it will kill Teferi next turn. So. What? They gained seven instead of putting a land on top of my library? Oh, I guess they don't have to do that because they're just going to annihilate me again. Sure. <sighs> Fucking amazing. Apparently sneak attack was the correct pick. It's really obnoxious. I don't get it. Why do you have so much trouble with land drops? Is it a curse? Yeah. I mean, basically.
What can you do when you name? Well, unless they draw a Kozilek like in the first couple turns. Oh, that would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? A little biscuit. <clears throat> what are the odds of them drawing specifically Kozilek multiple times? The game was totally different because they didn't hit a, a fifth land drop for like two turns. So we've actually gotten quite a few hits off of uh, Thief of Sanity. Nice. Must be nice. <sighs> yep. I'll play a single basic land. Go ahead. Your turn. Oh, they're going to keep up infinite counter spells. I'll remand your Teferi. I can hear Hunter dreaming in the bedroom. What is it? What's going on here? Sure. I don't know why that took so long, but... <laughs> I don't understand anything in Magic the Gathering. Fascinating. <clears throat> I might actually steal that. I mean, they're just going to remand it because they definitely have two counter spells and they were deciding which one to use. So, or they just have ultimate price slash go for the throat. And I don't know what's going on. Ah, yep. Chupacabra.
fascinating. That's interesting. This is weird that they did this before, like, like I had four mana up. I got like cryptic commanded, and like it's kind of weird. What up, Duffy? <clears throat> I mean, a swamp would be great. They're gonna give me a concealed courtyard in their launch. You just wait. Just you wait. I don't dislike that. I guess we'll just play this fat daddy. Fingers crossed they don't have a way to bounce it. Bounce is bad. Killing it's okay. Exiling it's not great. And we're at six, so we'd be dead. Can't win them all. What you can do is come at them. I remember when we had Mind Twist in our deck. Those were the days. <clears throat> Yep. <laughs> yep. That's something. This is just a trade here. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Go to 18. Get two worm daddies. Yeah, like if they play the spell off of Thief of Sanity, we do get to remand it back, which is pretty great. And draw a card off that, so. Is this mine? 
This does not say mine on it, but they didn't. That's weird that it doesn't say mine. <clears throat> but they cast it with non white mana, so I assume it's mine, even though it does not say mine. That's pretty sweet. Well, this is feeling better. If they have a way to answer this, I just want to be able to kill the Thief of Sanity, so I don't really want to play Blade Splicer here. Making sure a little biscuit's not down there. Sure. They have two cards. Maybe we're doing okay. I think this is actually fine. If they don't have an answer, our Avacyn is vigilant, so I'm not really too concerned. And this is 10, so they gotta block with something. Gotta be blocking with something. Gotta be blocking with something. Get up, get up, yeah, yeah. Sure. They have one card. Oh, wow. So she's gonna flip and deal three damage each other creature and each opponent. Sure. I guess we're not going to play Blade Splicer here. <laughs> that seems bad. Alright, so they're dead on board. They can't get any extra cards at Sylvan Library. <coughs> Shmurricane, what's going on? I'm surprised we're still in this game, to be quite honest. They have two cards. I mean, we can path the borrower. Yeah, all right. I mean, they're going to block with Quagmire, which is unfortunate because I don't want to have to path the Quagmire, but... Puts them to two. means they have to have an answer next turn. We could also just play Blade Splicer, which keeps us... Oh, <laughs> that's... Oh, well, that doesn't do it. Awkward.
Don't be dazed. Oh my god. Oh, okay, good. Oh my god, I was like gonna lose my mind if it was a daze. <clears throat> I think we're just playing the extra land here anyway. It's, it's so sad. Well, there's still like top three card. You're my third favorite streamer after Caleb and Luis. Yeah. So let me ask you something, Shmurkin. Shmurkin. Shmur Shmur like I think Caleb's great, and I've done like I've done coverage with Caleb. I've you know I've hung out with Caleb outside of outside of magic events like what's the appeal of caleb as a streamer because i i get that he's great like but i don't understand how he's that great like you know what i mean like it's like his 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 views are super high you know and i just don't understand like what what's the difference as a, as a caleb fan what would you say the difference is i guess is what i'm asking and in, in, in the most non-insulting way as well because like i said i think caleb's great Caleb the Storm player dude? No, I think that's Caleb Shearer from the SCG circuit, maybe. Got to be Oh, Muldrifter. They're digging. But they know what the two the top two cards are, so. Interesting. No, no, no. Fox at first. I don't take that as, as an insult at all. What did they get? Oblivion Ring and... Oh, wow. They just had Fallen Shinobi. That's an incredible, incredible lines there. Yep. Autumn. Body and mind seems very good here against the deck with. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want Hero's Downfall to be quite honest. <coughs> interesting. Like, I've always thought the music was interesting because, like, it's hard to get everyone liking the same music. So, if he, like, I know he plays, like, a lot of metal and stuff, but, like, um,. Like it's always like as a as a as a non metal fan, I'd be like, oh well, I don't really want to listen to this. So, I feel like that's a little, almost more dividing, but maybe it's not. I guess. Pretty lax and chill, and he has a contagious laugh. In my opinion, also he plays decks sometimes that are spicy. I, that's what I like. That's definitely my wheelhouse as well, or at least that you know I. At least I try to be, but again, I'm just looking for input here because that's very you know it's interesting to hear. I think Thoughtsy should just be in the main deck. Wall of Omens has not been doing very... Meh, maybe it's decent here, though. I think I do want Hero's Downfall, weirdly enough. Like, I just want to be able to take out a... Uh, a Fallen Shinobi before that dude connects, because... Good gravy. Come on. Come on, Magic the Gathering. He doesn't drink out of other people's cups. I don't watch that much, Caleb, but I assume that's true. I'll give it a shot. A black mana would be just wonderful here. Still, still agree. Black into th into thief of sanity would be just oh god, just be the bee's knees. Oh, come on. I've been fan of since 2011. When you're posting about werewolves and grim grin combo, the main reason I'll stop channels is when the darkness hits. It shit. Dude, it's so sad to hear it too because like I, I don't I I'm aware of it. You know what I mean? Like I know it's happening, and I'm like oh great, I'm being negative, but like. 
it's really hard to like break away some triple triple like this is what i mean triple island i'm like it's it's hard to be upbeat right now when i'm just doing fucking nothing in this game of magic the gathering you know it's hard especially like when you do it all the time and like especially during during bouts of like this happening you're just like all right well i guess i shouldn't expect it yeah this is the perfect case of right it's That's like, oh man, cool, 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 cool. Oh, I saw it. I love how he trolls chat and has a good banter with him. Like, I feel like I, that's hundred percent. Like, I feel like I definitely do that. Yeah, this is just incredible. Oh, well, all right. <clears throat> I mean, they're not doing anything, I guess, but they'll hear lose them now. You ready? They have eight mana. Why aren't they doing anything? There's almost a point. There's almost a point where I'm like, I, I don't want to get too big because, like, I feel like if my chat got too big, it would almost be unmanageable. You know what I mean? Well, considering this is the last game of the last match, I, I don't know if cutting black is really an option. Also, I don't think we really have a, a deck that's that allows us to cut black. Also, like really drawing one of six or seven seven black sources in our deck really shouldn't be an issue. I mean, considering think about your basic draft deck, you're gonna have eight nine eight sources of one color, nine sources of another, all basic lands. If we have seven black sources in our deck, which is one less than your average, like it's it shouldn't be a problem to draw a black source. So <clears throat> um I hear you, little man. We'll just play this guy for now. So we actually have more cards now, which is pretty comical. Also, speaking of which... Ophio Mansayo. Blades play Sereno. Here comes Brazen Borrower bouncing our, our Golem. It's one of the only cards I could think they're just holding for no value. Ready? We could also have Dismember. And they had Dismember. <coughs> I feel like I would Dismember the Ophiomancer before I Dismember the Blade Splicer. It's a two toughness. It's two power versus three power, but like now it's three power every every single time I want it to be. Got to be starting something. My regret is so real right now. I mean, having Angel of Sanctions in the graveyard is also pretty great. Mark, what are you doing at seven? What are you doing up at seven thirty right now? Did we, have you just did you just stay up for me? For me starting the stream, you're like, I'm just gonna stay up, I guess. Was this the opponent that had balance? Oh, there's hard casting, fallen shinobi. Wow, that's wild. Eh. Like, I don't know if they have mana leak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> I 
Riders on the storm. Smirking, I am also glad you found me, buddy. Superstar Machine, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the support, man. I feel like we just play this. Get this off the... No, this isn't the balance deck because they don't have white mana. So we know Dismember is gone. What was the other card that we were afraid of? Uh, Brazen Borrower. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not super concerned with the Solemn Simulacrum. I'm going to get this out of my hand now. If they want to tap out for it, that's fine. Oh, what? They just let it resolve? No, it went back to the hand. Never mind. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yep. 3-3 three, three is nice. I don't know how much damage this is, but it's a lot, so I'm satisfied. They have two cards in hand. <clears throat> Shell Dock Isle, sure. <coughs> Was that one card? If you guys haven't done so, check out manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service. You can get the promo code down below and the link in the description and get 20% uh, off your first three months of any subscription. That was an amazing draw. So we can go snap downfall. Wow, that was a crazy win. I did not think we were going to win with this deck. 2-1. Thank you guys for watching. Check me out every Wednesday at CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can follow on Twitch. You can follow on YouTube. You can subscribe on both platforms. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys.